Good morning. It is eight o'clock now on Thursday. I've got the day right this time. Um, the 9th um, of July. Um, as you can see, we've got a whiteout happening here. So after all the color and the spectacle of yesterday, we've got a whiteout. So there's no sun, there's no clouds. You can hardly see the buildings. Um, yeah, and it's raining, 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 raining. So it's um, it's a complete contrast to yesterday. It's really cold. It's really dark. It's dismal. It's bleak. It's all those negative words that you can say about the weather. <laughs> Crappy, shitty, intolerable, all of those things. But but anyway, I'm not here to rant about the weather. Um, yeah, what a crazy day yesterday with that bloody cloud just hovering there for all those hours. Um, I can't even see. I think there is something up over there behind those. Not at the bottom, but up higher. Um, but I can't, can't even detail to see what they are. Um, so, well, that might be one there, the darker area. Um, normally they are. But, yeah, so, yeah, what a crazy, crazy, crazy bonkers day. Um, crazy as. Um, you know, I was hoping maybe to get a rainbow today. But um, <laughs> there's not going to be any rainbows today. Um, probably not even tomorrow. But yeah, I, I'm, I was thinking, you know, did they manipulate the weather? Um, or did they, was what, ha you know, with all of this, you know, like for them only to have those turn their lights on and gear everything up for seven, seven minutes, um, that's not a long time, you know. Um, I think last time, um, I've only seen them gear up, you know, what, that's the third time. Um, so, you know, it's, it's something that obviously takes a lot of energy, a lot of preparation, um, and they turn them off pretty bloody quickly. Um, and then they started moving back to the hinterland, back that way. Um, so, you know, it was quick, let's get out of here, um, in my mind. Um, it, was, it was not anything that was um, normal behaviour um, for what I see for them. Um, not that I'm obviously an expert, I'm just a chick with a phone that's <laughs> got way too much time um, in this. I uh, need to find other hobbies. Um, but yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't believe um, that they, they were only up for such a short amount of time. Um, but then I was like, if you listen on the video, um, I'm not sure which one because I think I did four videos yesterday. Um, I think the second last one, um, I was like, oh. The only thing that will stop them is the weather, if it rains. I don't think they can do their discharge stuff um, with the pixelation when it's raining. Um, because when you, when you actually look at the videos of that, because it shows it on my hand, on my fingers here, on the balcony, and that's when I'm like, oh, last time that happened, I was sick for two days. I am the, I'm out of here. And then I'll have a quick look around, and then I'm, I'm zip, I'm out of here. I'm not going to be sick for another two days. Hell no. Um, so when you, when you look at it from that perspective, when you look at them, it sort of reminds me of when you get um, water on your on your windshield um, in your car when you're driving, and it sort of you know smears off, and you can get these little droplets that sort of you know distort what you're seeing. And especially if light is coming on, it sort of you know makes it a bit more glary and hard to see um, any depth of perception. Um, that's what that whole pixelation sort of looked like to me. And I'm thinking, well, if it's something like that, then maybe it has some matter. You know, um, dark matter, you know, which can go through buildings and stuff, and they don't even know what it is. Um, but whatever they, whatever they are doing, um, it can't transmit through rain. I think rain is a hindrance to them. So, did they cut it all short? Because in the video, I'm saying I can feel a drop of rain. I think it's going to start raining. Um, so, is that why they pulled things back? Did they create this rain, or did they piss off because of the rain? You know, did this rain stop them from doing what they wanted to do? Because they were, I, I, did, I, said, I don't know what the hell they were going to do, but they were, they were geared up for something fucking massive. The amount of them that were up in the sky that were all turned on. In the past, only one or two had been turned on. But to have, you know, multiple ones, the small ones, all of them were geared up. All of them were ready to go. And it was like, oh my God, this is an alien invasion. Um, because they were all like, you know, weaponized. It was like they were ready. Um, and the fact that nobody could see that, nobody has posted anything in the media um, saying, oh, did you see the strange red stuff in the sky last night? It was weird, wicked, wasn't it? But nobody has commented, not that I could see anyway. 
um, which, you know, makes me think everyone here is fucking stupid. They're blind and they're stupid. And that infuriates me. You know, it's right in front of your building, right in front of your apartment. You know, and you can't tell me that you wouldn't have been able to see that through your windows. You know, it was only well, when it started five o'clock at night. Um, and people, you know, if anyone was coming home from work, you're in your car and you'd notice it. You know, but obviously people are ignorant and stupid and nobody cares. Um, if it doesn't impact on them right now, it doesn't matter. Well, we'll sort it out next week. And that's the shitty, in some ways it's great that Australians have that attitude, but in other ways it makes them very complacent, very gullible, and very, very easy to influence. So, yeah. And no, 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 no way. But anyway, um, so looks like the sun is trying to peer through over here. Um, I don't know if that is the sun or what it is. Um, because I haven't said I didn't even see the moon last night. It was just complete utter whiteout everywhere, and the driving rain. Um, so yeah, it was it was not a not a very very pleasant evening for anybody, especially for the poor little birds and the animals, because it's bloody cold, wet, dreary, and um, and the static discharge. You can't tell me that the animals. You know, I can feel it on my building, and you can see it on my hand. What's it doing to the poor animals? All I know is my plants are starting to be affected by all this shit. Um, as, as I said the other day, I moved them around. I was tripping over them. I've moved this one over here now. And look at them. They're not looking. That's my parsley. It's not looking very healthy. And my sweet basil, he's looking a bit sad too. They were all nice and bushy. But not anymore. And my other plant over here, this one here, oh, he's getting a bit of sunburn. And he's just looking a bit bit like me a bit haggard <laughs> he doesn't look you know nice and healthy looking anymore but um but he'll he'll get there gives them some more plant food and they should be okay rotate them around a little bit more so they're not touching the glass mm. yeah so yeah that's that's the bleak day that i'm going to be during so i'm not going anywhere at all today I'm going to stay home, do some housework, do some cooking maybe, um, and, um, and sort of see what the afternoon brings. So, yeah, but, and yet, yeah, I know I've, been, I've said that I'm right into, you know, having, finding names for things. Um, it just makes familiarity to me. Um, it's much easier for me to... Um, connect things if they have a name or a label um, so you know that's just how I am but then again I'm crazy so what can I say um, so that's I don't know whether that is the I don't know if that is the the sun or not um, so is that one over there the sun or is that there the sun I don't know is it that or is it that I don't know because I can't see and um, what's over there no now that's where the moon goes down over there, so the sun has to be over here somewhere. So that must be the sun. I'm assuming that must be the sun then. But, but hey, I could be wrong. <laughs> I've been I've been wrong many many times before. But yeah. But anyway, so um, so I can show you my. This is my headless, armless man. <laughs> um, yeah, he's he's. He doesn't have a name yet. He's just, you know, my mate. Um, he's a post-World War II um, flight, flight jacket, a flight suit, um, which I, I purchased um, when I was doing my World War II um, research and investigation. And um, I was like, when it arrived, it came from England. When it arrived, it was like, oh, it's not really what I was looking for. Oh, what am I going to do with it? You know, like it's, it weighs a ton because it's, good thick you know solid material it's got all the zips and everything that you know someone that might be a mechanic or something might need and I was like what am I going to do with it oh I can either just fold it up and put it in the corner or I could turn it into a bit of a you know a a um an ornament <laughs> decoration so I got all my grocery bags those reusable grocery bags and I just stuffed them all in here <laughs> so it's my grocery bags man and um so he's all filled he's got boobies and he's got a big belly um but yeah so i just laugh and i say you know if anybody from down on the street 
happen to be able to look up this way and saw in here. They go, oh my God, that lady's got this homeless man lying on her balcony. Quick, <laughs> bet the police, get the police. Oh God, not turn up. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. We, we need to come inside. We've got, you know, we've had, um, you know, um, reports that you've got a dis dismembered body on your balcony. Can we come and have a look, please? Um, I'd say, sure, come on in. They could come in. I'll probably end up tell them all about you know my my investigations into World War II and what I see in the skies and they're probably going holy shit we're never coming to this place ever again um so you know um but yeah but that's that's for another story for another day but anyway um just thought I'd show you what it's like in the morning today um completely utter 360 from yesterday um with those crazy 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 world world war alien <laughs> skies because they, they're just unbelievable. I still can't believe that they were up there. And then they left those little dying husking ones. Once they, they turned the, 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 the engines off and the glow stopped, they left the husky things sitting up. They looked like old cockroaches just hanging in the sky. It was, it was crazy. I'm like, you know, why are you leaving that shit there for everybody to see? It makes it even more obvious. That's what I'm saying. I think they're trying to be so covert and so smart. They try to mask themselves in the clouds by, you know, changing the colours like um, using like the chameleons, you know, um, to try to, you know, blend in. But all they do is make themselves stand out even more. It's like, you're dumb asses, you, you're dumb shits. You know, come on, you know, like, obviously they don't have that logical human mind or the inquisitive human mind, I suppose. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. But anyway, I'm rambling as I do, so... I'm going to go inside, make myself um, another coffee. Um, I've had two already, <laughs> so I'll have another one. I'll be flying off the ceiling to, you know, this afternoon. But yeah, so um, yeah. Well, anyway, I hope you're all having a great day um, and that you're all doing well um, and you know, keeping you know your head above water at any lockdown that you might have. Um, you know, there will be light at the end of the tunnel. It may be a, the boring company tunnel. <laughs> by Elon Musk but you know hey at least you'll have a tunnel um, so there's a, and, and tunnels have ways in and ways out um, so you know don't 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 give up don't give up okay no worries have a good one bye